Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm here to share Ready for Kindergarten story time with you today. And at the library, every time we do story time, we share four skills. We share letters, the sounds they make, and we rhyme. And when we rhyme, we like to snap, or clap, or sing a song to sound out words. And we talk about vocabulary. And today, I'm going to be focusing on emotional vocabulary like different feelings we might have. For example, this bear. How do you think this bear feels? Does he feel happy? Does he feel silly? He feels grumpy. <laughs> Sometimes we feel grumpy. <laughs> All right. So grumpy starts with the g, g, g sound of the letter G. And on our website, we have printables so you can practice the letters with your children. So here's that letter G and the big G goes, circle back, little line in. Let's try that again. Circle back, little line in. And we have a little G and it goes, circle back, down and curve up. Circle back, down and curve up. So if you go to our website, you can practice the letter G. G like a grumpy bear. And on the back of the activity sheet on our page, and the page looks a little bit like this. And there's the activity sheets. And on the back of the page, we see a bear and he's going to the grocery. But as we all know, going to the grocery right now is complicated. And so how does Bear feel about going to the grocery? He might feel a little bit grumpy. <laughs> so now we're going to share our book today. And our book is called Grumpy Pants. They're not happy pants. They're not silly pants. They are grumpy pants. There's that penguin. And this is by Claire Messer. What's the name of our book again? Grumpy Pants. And I see something. I see a little rubber ducky. Penguin was in a bad mood. A very bad mood. He didn't know why. And he didn't care. He just stomped, stomped, stomped with his feet, feet, feet all the way home. He pulled off his grumpy coat. Can you pull off your grumpy coat? He kicked off his grumpy boots, but he was still grumpy. He tried to shake it off, shake it off. Can you shake it? Shake it off, shake it off. But he was still grumpy. So we pulled off his grumpy sock. Can you pull off your grumpy sock? And then the other. Did it work? No. He was still grumpy. So we took off his grumpy overalls. Did it work? Nope. Still grumpy. Finally, he took off his grumpy underpants. Ah! <laughs> Penguin. Hey, he says, I'm still grumpy, you know. Then he took a deep breath. And he counted. One, two, three, and... The water in his tub was nice and cold. He played with his duck. He hid under the water and made himself a bubble beard. Have you ever made yourself a bubble beard? <laughs> little by little, he was starting to feel so much better. 
it was time to get out of the tub. He put on his favorite pajamas and he had a cup of steaming hot chocolate. Take your hot chocolate. Mm. And he read his favorite book. He found his favorite teddy and climbed into bed. And his penguin fell asleep. He knew that tomorrow would be a better day because all of the grumpiness had been washed away. The end. Great job, guys. Give yourselves a hand. So grown-ups, this book is great to talk about emotions because sometimes we feel like despair. We might feel grumpy. There's even a song about all the different emotions we can do and talk about with our child, and that is Happy and You Know It. Do you guys know that song? All right, so if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Uh-oh, the bear's not happy. How does he feel again? Grumpy. He's gonna stomp his feet. If you're grumpy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're grumpy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're grumpy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're grumpy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. So kids and grown-ups, thank you so much for talking with me today. Um, at home, you can continue to practice different letters, like the letter G. And on our website, not only do we have these wonderful activity sheets, but we also have lots of resources so you can learn more about your child's development. You can find out about community resources like CAP for Kids and Action for Children. And you can learn about there's free resources for home learning, such as education.com. And we have lots of books. Our libraries are slowly but surely opening up for you guys. There's curbside pickup at a lot of libraries. You can reserve books and come and pick them up. And some books you might wish to enjoy at home are Please Baby Please by Spike Lee, which is my favorite picture book of all time. Or a new one, Go Fish by Tammy Sauer. So that's really great. I hope that each of you, I know we're all gonna have moments this year where we feel grumpy, but I hope that you have moments of love, happiness, togetherness, and just enjoying your time together as a family. Have a great rest of the day.